Hi, everyone, and welcome to Unit 3 of EDU 3290. It's a pleasure to join you, and I wanted to give you an overview of what will uh, this week be about and what we hope to accomplish. So this week is all about uh, how to formulate research questions that actually try to get at the core of what we hope to research. And secondly, how do we actually find data sets or information from which to write papers on? Because we can't technically conduct 20 studies a year in order to get 20 papers a year. So how do we look at secondary data sources and literature reviews and other options to be able to publish our work? So first off, I wanted to uh, direct you towards the overview section of our Blackboard portal this week, where I direct you to a paper that I wrote a few years back about examining the last 20 years of trends in and around the issues of struggling readers from a policy and practice standpoint. I think you'll get an idea from looking at that paper or even the abstract of how we can tackle something uh, this semester in class, whether it be from a paper you've previously written or one that you'd like to address um, later this, uh, this term. Some of the objectives we have for this week are to be able to create guiding research questions for your own study this term, to identify some exemplar papers that we can mimic some of the organizational structures and stylistic features of those authors writing, and also how do we differentiate between good and bad research questions, ones that, ones that are actually aligned to the outcomes that we hope to achieve. You're also going to be doing a video voice thread at the end of the week. Um, and also commenting <clears throat> on two of your peers' videos. Uh, and we're, you're going to be talking about what do you believe that you can add to the current body of research, the current extant literature in a specific field with your paper this term? How is your topic timely or relevant? <clears throat> and then what kinds of data sources are you going to use to be able to create that paper? If we look further <clears throat> into the readings and content this week, we're going to be delving further into the Silva book, which is a great, easy read, uh, talking about writing for journal article publication. It's very different to write an essay for a doctoral class or a master's class than it is to try to write a paper to get uh, in a peer-reviewed journal than it is to, to write a dissertation or a master's thesis. A, a journal article has to be uh, succinct, to the point, and within certain submission requirements, and even in a style that is very specific to that particular journal. So you're really going to want to study not only the style, but also the structure of how other people have written for your journal of choice. I know last week you just turned in uh, your three top journals that you're looking at. So those are some of the things that we're going to be continuing to study. <clears throat> I also directed you towards uh, Tim Shanahan's piece on 10 things good writers do. We're always trying to work on our writing craft as academics. I also featured in this week an interview with one of your textbook authors, Shelley Wepner, who is now the dean at Manhattanville College here in New York City. <clears throat> um, we talk about why she wrote the book, what are some of her suggestions and advice for us as budding academics in the field of reading and literacy. I also uh, feature uh, a PowerPoint that I recently made uh, talking about the research questions and data types, but also another video that I shot last week talking about how to create research questions. Uh, I use a, a certain framework to guide the structure of my research questions, and I think you will find that five, six minute video uh, illuminating into that process. I look forward to working with you this week as always, and I wish you all the best.